All right. First and foremost, giving all praise to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Okay? And double honors to the elders and apostles at Great Millstone, from whom I learn from and continue what they do. Okay? And the health of Shalom to the brothers that are out there doing the work in truth and sincerity. All right? Again, this same show. <laughs> you know, it's called Them. Okay? I'm going to play just a little bit of this. And please excuse the quality because it's uh, you know I'm recording off a projector, but it is what it is. I'm sure you're right. You hear that? A certain criminal has born characteristics. See that? In other words, they're saying so-called black people. All right? Ultimately, they're saying Israelites. The normal person who is driven to crime through passion or need. Such a man, however, gives himself up in the end through fear. Fear of the law or of God. And your fear of the law or of God. Okay? So let's get a scripture here. Salakia. Salakia. Two. So who was the law given to? Right? We should know that by now, but this is Isaiah 8, verse 20. To the law and to the testimony. If they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. See? So he said, into the law. Ability to inspire fear must be a powerful weapon. Very. Half the time it drives a man to us, saving us the bother of going after him. And then, well, I wouldn't confess this openly, but as one criminologist to another, we take credit for being inhumanly skillful. Yes, sir. So you were working in the other side. The end of the that were and got them scared is them bones that you fiddle them with. Nonsense. Well, that's one way to put it. But them boys figure that them bones was walking around here once. And the folks that was wearing them. <laughs> okay. So, he said them bones. See that? My phone had a chime on that one. It said them bones that are walking around here. What is them bones? Let's read that. Ezekiel 37, verse 1. The hand of the Lord was upon me. And I carried me out. In the spirit of the Lord, and set me down in the midst of the valley, which is full of bones. You see that? You understand? So these people who make these films, and these uh these so-called stars, and these people that are uh, that are featured in these films, they know what's going on, man. It's, it, he said these bones, and they live. These bones live. See how he said it? <laughs> he said these bones live, right? Verse two. And caused me to pass the uh, pass by them round about. And behold, there was very many in an open valley. Where's that valley at? Though I walked through the valley of the shadow of death. Okay? Here in Babylon, man. The shadow of death is here in Babylon. Okay? Because his, his desire is hell. Okay? Alright? There were very many in an open valley, and lo, they were very dry. Verse 3. And he said unto me, Son of man, can these bones live? And I answered, O Lord, God, thou knowest. See that? You see that? So really they're making fun of us in all these films and these videos and movies. But they know what's going on, man. But only the elect's going to get this, man. The 144. Okay? Yahweh Bashem Yahashah has showed us. Right? Verse 4. Again, he said unto me, prophesy. See that? That's what Christianity don't go into. They don't go into prophecies. He said unto me, prophesy unto these bones. So unto them, O ye dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Okay? Thus saith the Lord God, our power, until these bones, behold, I will cause breath to enter into you, 
and ye shall live. Now, when he formed man out of the dust of the earth, he breathed into his nostrils. And that was the breath of life. That was the first Adam. Okay? Uh, in, in other words, it was Yahweh Shai because there was Adamites already, if you can receive that. So let me play the rest of this. <laughs> no, Mr. Henry, these monkey shines like to have me bust the scene. <laughs> Where you come from? Apparitions. The scripture said in the last days he would show us apparitions. This is my house. Show paid enough for him. That's right. I pay for this. All of it. Me. And now that old fay taking the food out your children's mouths. That old rascal. <laughs> now who's that old rascal? That's Esau Edom. The damn devil the Bible speaks of. Okay, verse 5, thus saith the Lord, our power unto these bones, behold, I will cause breath to enter into them, and ye shall live. You see that? And now when was that? That was after three days and a half, and as it's written in uh, Revelation 11, verse 11, right? And I, will, uh, and I will lay sinews upon you and bring you up flesh upon you and cover you with skin okay and put in you and ye shall live and ye shall know that I am the Lord see verse 7 so I prophesied so I prophesied I was commanded okay and I prophesied there was no noise and behold a shaking of the bones came together. As it is written. See? They came together. Bone to his bone. And when I beheld, lo, the sinews. And the flesh came up upon them. And the skin covered them above. But there was no breath in them. Okay? So what, you, what you're looking at right here is a figment of his imagination. Okay? I say, profit sharing is something you earn, Emery. Ooh, Mr. Henry, if you don't sound just like him. Lord, what kind of monkey shine does you perpetrate? Who the hell you think he is? I was powerful thirsty, Mr. Henry, and now I can conjugate more proper like. <laughs> what you gonna do? 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 All right, so, hey, so what you gonna do? You gonna prophesy? You gonna bring it out? You gonna preach? You gonna be in an instant in season and out of season? Are you just gonna be a black faced coon for all the rest of your life? A two thirds Israelite that's gonna have to come back uh, with a, a how, how does scripture say it? Just gonna have to come back uh, uh, as a babe in the kingdom. Okay, verse twelve. I'm gonna read this. Therefore, prophesy. See what you're going to do. You're going to prophesy? Are you going to sit back and pussyfoot? 
Therefore prophesy and say unto them, Thus saith the Lord our power, Behold, O my people, I will open your graves and cause you to come up out of your graves to bring you into the land of Israel. Okay? So these people know what, exactly what the hell's going on, man. All right? Verse 13, And ye shall know that I am the Lord when I have opened your graves. See that? Okay? Oh, my people brought you, brought you up out of your graves. Oh, let me read that again. He said, Open your graves. Oh, my people. What people have brought up the people out of, the, uh, out of their graves, out of their sleep? The Israelites, the mouthpiece of the pro uh, of uh, Yahweh Shem Yahweh the prophets. Okay? Brought you up out of your graves. 14. And shall put my spirit in you. And ye shall live. And shall place you in your own land. Then shall ye know that I am the Lord, have spoken it, and performed it, saith the Lord. So with that, giving all praise to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakakwadash, just another quick hitter, okay? Shalom.